April. I'm so glad you could come to our village and sit by our fire so we can thank you in the proper manner. It's my privilege, Ben Bandu. I wouldn't want to pass through this forest without visiting your village and seeing for myself how the Banda people live. Oh my, you speak so eloquently. My brother sits by the fire. I know he wishes to speak with you, but the elder would speak with you first. He rests in his hammock up on the mound. Go speak with him, and then come down again, so we can celebrate the death of the Gribbler and the brave escape of April Ryan and Ben Bondu's brother. They got a nice bonfire going. It's the elder Bondu. The hero of the day comes to visit the old Bandu. Let me see your face, human. Make yourself shorter. That's much better. The human is closer to the soil now, and she may even feel it like we do. Moving, shaping itself, breathing, beating. I don't feel anything. Sorry. So the human is not a digger. But we don't judge her because of that. The human is a hero, she is. Don't call me that. I'm not a hero. I was just in the right place at the right time to help somebody out. She destroyed the evil that haunted our forest, and rescued one of our little ones from the creatures of chaos. And so she is a hero. She's the one spoken of in our songs, is she not? The one who will deliver us from an evil presence, and who will go on to save the balance. You are she. Are you not? I don't know. Well, we will see. We will see. You will sleep in our spirit dig tonight. And then tomorrow, we will see. But now, you must enjoy yourself. This feast is in your honor to show our appreciation for your courage. Thank you. Go, oh, eat and drink and dance and then go to sleep in the spirit dig. We will talk tomorrow before you continue your journey. You are on a journey, are you not? A very long one, yeah. We are all on a journey, but yours is the most important one ever. So go, I will smoke my pipe and think on prophecies and songs, go. Crow? Oh, hey, uh, I was, uh, wondering what happened to you. What happened to you? I thought you were supposed to help out in the search. I could have used some assistance this afternoon. Uh, yeah, but I did find some mal... some banda, didn't I? Just not the one we were looking for, is all. And besides, I was beef! My wings can only carry me so far before I need a twig to rest on and a couple of juicy berries. Speaking of berries, did you taste the ones they got here? The word is yum. Big yum. I don't know what they soaked them in, but hoo-hoo, man! Well, at least you're okay. No, oh, sure. You know me. I could use a good flea plucking, though. Care to reward me for my diligence? Diligence? Ha! <laughs> <sighs> I'm guessing I'll be plucking my own fleas tonight, then, and, and I'm okay with that. I'm blaming you if I wake up with a crick in the neck tomorrow, though. 
Oh dear, it's April. Sit, sit down. <laughs> Are you feeling all right? I thought you disappeared on me back at the Gribbler's lair. Oh dear, I do apologize. I saw the Gribbler return from the forest, so I ran into the bushes and headed straight for the village. I was going to get help, you understand, but then I bumped into my brother and I told him what was happening. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Thanks to you, April. How did you kill the Gribbler? Lots of luck. And a little bit of quick thinking. My limited talents in the martial arts were woefully underused. Were you frightened? I don't think I've ever been so frightened in my entire life. Kind of exhilarating, actually. Although at this point, I think I've had quite enough excitement for a lifetime. Oh, dear me. I could never be as brave as you, April. Ever. <laughs> What is the spirit dig the Elder told me about? Oh, it's a sacred place. A very sacred place. It's where we, the Banda, can speak with our ancestors, ask them questions, and learn from their wisdom. Yeah, well, the Elder said I was to sleep there tonight. He did? The Elder said that? Then you have been honored by him, April. Only those worthy of the spirits of our ancestors can spend the night in the spirit dig. Where is the spirit dig? Right behind you, at the far end of our green. Enjoy the party, guys. Oh, but it's in your honor, April. You must enjoy it yourself, too. Mushrooms or chairs or both? There are tunnels extending down into the earth behind the screen. It's not a big fire, but it's comfortably warm in here, and the smoke has a very pleasant, very mellow texture to it. It's some kind of bed made with twigs and moss. Not as comfortable as a real mattress, I'm sure, but it'll do. I'll just lie down for a few. No, screw that. I'm getting a good night's sleep. That's what I'm doing. I've never been this tired in my life. save the world, do you? Who are you? I don't tell me you don't recognize me, April Ryan. I'm 
You. That's... impossible. This is just another dream. I must be dreaming. Think again, loser. This is as real as it gets. Why are you here? I'm sending you home, that's what. You're a sad little trick, don't you realize that? There's no point subjecting the entire world, hit two worlds, to your feeble attempts at redeeming yourself, is there? Go away, leave me alone. How the hell am I supposed to do that, Einstein? I am you. You are me. Unfortunately for the both of us, we're inseparable. I don't need this Freudian id crap. Not now. There's so much I have to do, so many people I have to help. Oh yeah? Like you really believe that? Like you give a shit about those people? You're doing this for yourself, April, and that's why you're gonna fail. Shut up! Shut up! That's always your way out, isn't it? Telling people to shut up when they speak the truth and shutting them out when they're getting too close for comfort. Hey, don't tell me. I do it because Daddy hurt me. Screw that. How do you think you're gonna hold up when this job gets tough if you can't rely on anybody or believe in anything? I'm doing it, aren't I? Yeah, because what kind of choice did you have? Face your problems back home? Face the nightmares? I don't think so. So you run. And you think you're putting distance between yourself and your fear of the past and the present? All you're doing is running straight into an inevitable nervous breakdown. Like right now. You're talking to yourself, April. Now that's not something a mentally stable person would do, is it? Shut up! Shut up! Shh. It's okay, April. It's okay. Charlie? Charlie, is that you? Shh. Don't you worry. I'm here. I'll take good care of you. Oh, God, Charlie, I'm so glad that... that you're... You're... You're not here. You can't be. I'm still dreaming. No, no, you're not dreaming. I'm here, but in spirit only. Is it? Is it really you, Charlie? We are Charlie, your friend. We feel his heart and his mind, and his sleeping spirit joins us. But we speak from the great digs of the beyond, where the songs of the banda never end. Are they dead? We have passed into the soil. We are spirits. And we have come to guide you. Why Charlie? Why do you show me Charlie? He loves you. And so he guides us here. Into your heart and mind. He loves me? Charlie loves me? You are not alone in the world, April. There are many who care for you. Your friends and your family. Your real family. You are not alone in your journey through life. What do you know about my family? My real family? They watch out for you, April. That's all we know. They have never abandoned you. They have just let you live the life you needed to live. To understand. It's important that you understand. Understand what? That life, even when difficult and painful, is a gift. That love is priceless, and rare, and precious. That every good action, every good thought counts. And that a single person can make a difference, can change the world. If she puts her mind to it, if she believes in herself, and the people who believe in her. But everything is so frightening. I don't understand half of what goes on around me. Did not the mother say she would help you? Watch out for you? Did not Charlie and Emma, your friends, offer to give you a helping hand when you didn't even tell them the truth about what was going on? And Cortez the Red, did he not prove himself a friend as well? How then can you be so afraid when you have so many spirits to be with you in your darkest hour? Cortez the Red? 
Please, tell me what I have to do. I'm just fumbling in the dark here. Follow your heart and your spirit, Abel. And use your mind. These are your weapons. And with them, you will defeat chaos. When you wake, tell the Elder that you've had a Bakbar. That you've spoken with the Panda Spirits. And that your name amongst our people is now April Bandu and Bata. April Digger who will seek and find. Oh, don't go. Please don't go. 